So yeah, pockets are a little hurt, but it's okay. <laughs> what the is that smell? It's just a lot of me going on mentally, like you know. It's like, girl, like, what are you even talking about? So, oh, so excited that I have you like what? You know. So I just the most disgusting thing ever. to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be another living alone weekly vlog i know it's been a minute i know i just posted one but that was from what i recorded in like april so it is actually may 22nd wednesday may 22nd it is 2 31 in the afternoon you guys are actually going to see this in like real time i'm gonna i plan to post this one this coming sunday if not sunday it'll be monday but if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so Currently outside of Target parking lot because I just went in there to grab some uh, like travel essential items at the little travel aisle and then I just left Chick Chick and got my signature drink with no ice because they be stingy with this cup. You can only get the berry cherry lemonade in a little bitty old cup. So I always tell them no ice but girl this drink so good 10 out of 10. Have not ate all day. Um. Oh, that's sweet. I got off work yesterday at 7 in the morning, slept until like 6 37 in the evening, and then I was up this morning, Wednesday morning, up until what I say, like 6 o'clock, and then woke up at 10 when I got my nails done. So don't like it like it's okay i wanted to try something a little different than just a regular full set um i did get medium-sized nails instead of small simply because we're about to go me and bear going to a wedding in texas we're going down there today we're gonna stay wednesday thursday and come back friday so i wanted a little extra on my nails and get them a little bit longer just because i'll show y'all my toes when i get home i did get acrylic on my big toe and then the regular ones well the rest of them just regular so super cute my toes have not looked this good in a minute i have not just did this whole kind of like self-care thingy in a minute so it felt really really good i did leave out of there spending like 167 dollars that's with tip included so yeah pockets are a little hurt but it's okay <laughs> i'm gonna give y'all a little quick target haul of what i got from um target i didn't want to pack any of my like regular items at home like i don't want to pack my body wash like i don't want to pack nothing because i got big bottles of stuff and like i just don't want to take all that especially because we're only gonna be staying two nights so i don't want to bring all of my stuff and then have to unpack that and put it back how i have it so i decided to get travel items especially because i'm about to be doing a lot of traveling this year so these travel items whatever i don't use i'm going to be taking to my trip to cali next month so yeah the first thing i got is this little bitty cute brush I was in a nail shop and I was trying to run my fingers through my hair and it got caught a little bit so you know I had to brush it out so I got another brush um don't know how much it was but this is the brand right here so I've already been using it I think it's cute um I do plan on taking like a little bitty bag or whatever with me so this will fit perfectly in a little bitty purse next item my guy is a new pack of two brushes you can never go wrong with this these are 99 cent at Target y'all know the brand and I really like these because the bristles are really really soft I got a, another two brush holder. I got like three at home, but my best friend, when she was still living here before she went to the military, I know she was using one with her two brush and I don't know if they had one or not. And I think my mama had one before. So I just need to get more of these because you know, everybody been using them. So got a new one of those. Needed this Vaseline. We're going to a wedding, so legs cannot be ashy. Um, this is not in the travel section, but I went ahead and got this. 
Um, I got this spray on deodorant, the 0% aluminum. It's the cucumber and green tea. I thought I was not going to like this smell because that's just not my vibe. But girl, I sprayed this in there and it smells so good. So since we're going to a wedding and it's going to be hot in Texas, I imagine like it is here, I decided to get spray on deodorant. Other thing I got is a little bitty thing of Marcella water. I got a big one, but I don't want to carry my big one. So I got a travel size. I did not know TheraBreath comes in this little bitty cute little travel size bottle. So I've never tried the pink bottle, um, Sparkle Mint. I always use the dark blue bottle. So I'm excited to see how this one, uh, what flavor this one is. Got another thing, a toothpaste. Um, I, mm, what is this? I have never used this CeraVe cleanser. I do have a cleanser, but I have never used this specific one. This one is like in the green packaging. The one I use is in a blue packaging. This is my absolute favorite lotion, the Nivea. I like the dry to very, yeah, dry to very dry skin. Um, I have dry skin, so this one works perfectly for me. I decided to go ahead and do get back to my roots because I like the EOS. I'm definitely a EOS girly, but honestly, the Nivea is just better to me and it lasts a lot longer and it's for dry to very dry skin. So I absolutely love that. This is for Bay. <laughs> and then last thing I picked up, I needed some body wash for these little two days. So I got the Olay Fresh Outlast. It's with notes of white strawberry and mint. It smells amazing. Um, the only other travel size body wash they had was the native brand and they had two different Olays So I decided to get this one. It smells good. Um, I tried the native brand before and I honestly Don't care for it. It's very drying to my skin like it definitely dries my skin out. So I don't like that All right, I'm about to take my food home because my stomach kind of hurt And then I need to um, pack Prince up to get him ready so I can take him to my parents house Mm. How was it just sprinkling? And now the sun is shining. <laughs> hey, don't question it. Don't question it. <laughs> Close my bath so my food stay hot. We about to go ahead and head to the house. Mm, it needs a little light. Huh? Time to do. Sure. <laughs> I mean, everything already, you know. I've got to put everything in the bag. the door it's this little bitty mirror right here super cute we got coat racks right here it has a full little mini kitchen like i have never been in a hotel with a full fridge like this refrigerator sink actually i had a sink and stove before i think in myrtle beach in miami but i have not ever had a refrigerator this freaking big and this better not be no dishwasher the dishwasher and the cutting board. Stop playing with them. This is so cute. Full of microwave, dishes, everything up in here. And this is the, I guess if you will, laundry area with another cute little mirror. Come on now. I ain't never had all this space in a freaking hotel room. And we on the first floor. We've never been on the first floor either. We always have to go upstairs. There's so many cabinets and stuff. This would be really nice if we were like really staying here for like a week or so. Look at all this space and a little kitchen. It has a desk area for me to like edit and stuff, which I'm not gonna be doing no editing. <laughs> Unless I just have a lot of downtime or something, but yeah, cause tomorrow we're gonna be at the wedding. So we ain't gonna have no, um, we ain't really gonna have no downtime. Um, 
It also comes with a full couch over here. Cute little backsplash. I like the lights on the side. Got some more storage right there. Got this little table as well as the TV over here. This is the bathroom. This is so stinking cute. Oh, this must be, yeah, because I'm gonna need that blow dry blade. It's late tomorrow, baby, okay? It's been raining, my wig didn't been through it. I'm gonna have to prep this today. Lace not even <laughs> out there good. I did not glue it down today. Okay, I put it back in Intelligent Auto because, yeah, it's driving me insane. Uh, this is cute though. Full little walk in shower. Towel's already right here. We love that. Now about to show y'all the best part of this little hotel, which is so cute. Like we pass this all the time when you're driving into Dallas. Excuse my hair, y'all. Like it, it and just the humidity and everything. I know my hair gonna be messed up tomorrow. <laughs> um, we've never ever had a freaking balcony in our freaking hotel room. Like, where's the keys? No. How stinking cute is this? So obviously there's not really too much privacy because that's the neighbors and then there's somebody over there. And then we got the pool over there. View of some trees. And then we got the other neighbor's side up over here and theirs look just like ours. Or it's got two chairs as well. Friday, um, the 24th of May, and we, me and Bad back from Texas, from the wedding and stuff, um, I didn't record anything or whatever because, um, like, it's nobody that I knew, so I didn't record anything, but why I just get in my car, and I get in, and I'm like, what the, is that smell, girl, why did I go drop prints off the day that we were leaving? And my dad was like, oh, I got all this food. I got all this food. I got all this chicken. Da, 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 da. Um, here, 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 take some. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, I'll just get it when I come pick him up. I mean, the chicken ain't going nowhere. I was already rushing. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to forget this in my back seat. Why did I just forget that dang chicken in my back seat? Girl, it, mm, it stinks so bad here. <laughs> like, I don't even want to look at it because, ugh. But I'm about to throw this chicken out. I, I'm really going to have to go clean my car out. Um, It just got done thunderstorming, like, really, really bad. Lightning, hailing, all of that. So, I don't think I'm going to clean my car out today. But definitely tomorrow, like, maybe, like, in the morning or so, if it's not going to be raining again, um, I'm about to have to go clean my car out. Oh, my God. Did I forget my phone? If I forgot my phone, I'm about to be pissed. Yep, because it won't even let me ring it. <laughs> Why does everything keep happening to me today? Uh, I'll be back. Let me go get my phone. Alright, so got my stupid phone. I had to bring some of this spray. Because, oh my gosh, it smells like something died in here. It's black cherry merlot. 
I'm definitely gonna have to take my car and clean it out and stuff. Ugh, it's supposed to, um, what time is it? Let, let me throw this stuff out. Because I cannot take it. And I'm gonna have to set y'all up on my uh, car mount. Oh my gosh, and it leaked in my damn seat. This is disgusting. Oh my gosh, this is the most disgusting thing ever. I'm so disgusted. Like, oh, I can't believe I did that. Well, I can because I was rushing like so bad trying to freaking pack and get back home. And oh my gosh, I did. I, I don't care, I gotta go clean my car out. So, what I'm about to do right now is go to Target and Kohl's clothing store because I got some stuff from Amazon and I need to return it. Basically for the wedding, I had ordered two dresses and this little like gold belt thingy to go around um, my waist, which I end up finding it in Winster. And then the dress that I bought from Winster, I ended up not wearing and I can't return that dress because it's final sale. So here's a dress that was supposed to be like a, like a darker nude. It's very, very light and it just doesn't fit right. Um, I lost 20 pounds. Don't know if I, I think I've been seeing it in these past vlogs in my Shein video, whatever, but I've lost 20 pounds. I used to be 153, 54 pounds. I'm like 136, 137 right now. Like sick about it. So tomorrow I am, I am picking up or I'm going grocery shopping for so much food. It, it don't, it don't make no sense. So anyways, this dress is a size medium, which is my normal size. But, like I said, I lost 20 pounds. So, it's not my normal size anymore. It fits because it's a ruched dress. But you can still tell it's like, it's just, it gives, not baggy, but it gives baggy. <laughs> so, I'm returning this. I need to go to the office to pick up my other package. Because my other package has the gold belt that I basically already got in store. And then it also has another dress. I'm not even going to open that dress because, like I said, I was getting it for the wedding. Uh, Bay was like, just keep it. You may need it. No, I'm, I don't want it. So, I'm just returning everything that I ordered because... The one dress that I wore was the dress that I initially knew that I should have just went ahead and, you know, went with my first mind, especially going to the wedding. Like, the colors was forest green and nude. People had on orange. People had on, like, all different shades of green. So, that's why I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to stress about it no more because some people are, like, really, really strict about dress code. But then again, it's like, it's black people too. So, you know, black people ain't going to do right. So, I should have just went ahead with my little green dress that, you know, which I wore. But, you know, I should have just stuck with that and didn't buy anything else. So, yeah, I'm about to go to the office right now, pick up my other package. And then we're going to go to, I think I'm going to go to Kohl's first and then Target. But Target comes first and then Kohl's. But Target, I may look around a little bit because I do need something to eat for tonight. Um, and I'm just going to buy me a quick little meal out of Target. Really, I just need some meat because I got um like potatoes and macaroni like stuff for a side so yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to Kohl's first but yeah, let's go and check my mailbox and get my new package okay so this is what this one looks like um this one's cute i need to see how much i paid for this it feels very cheap though i think some of the reviews was like it breaks easily depending on how you move so i am going to go ahead and return this one i mean i didn't wear it or anything so it definitely feels a lot cheaper than the other one my other one that i bought was like 14 dollars from the store and this one was probably like seven eight dollars so i'm just going to put it back in here and return this one this is the other dress that i was telling y'all about <laughs> okay it feels really nice i got this one in a size small I like that neck part though so yeah it's cute I'm gonna go ahead and return it cuz I mean I don't need it I was only getting it for the wedding so I need to do a return label for this item and this item okay so I just got back to the house and I'm completely over today like <laughs> I left y'all saw me last in the car and literally come up out of Target and it's pouring down raining 
something told me to go ahead and take my umbrella, but I didn't think I was gonna be in there that long, which I really wasn't in there that long, but it still kind of ended up being in there kind of long. Cause I was looking around and I um, got me a book and stuff. So I'm about to do a quick little Target haul real quick. And then I'm about to get started on my food. Um, I also want the Chick-fil-A to pick up uh, my friend Janae, who's also my neighbor, <laughs> something cause having some car troubles right now. So did that. And my house is a mess. Like I normally don't leave my house a mess when I'm about to leave for vacation, but it was just a lot going on. So I gotta do dishes and stuff and I'm about to hurry up and straighten up a little bit because I'm gonna do a deep clean with me or clean with me for like spring and summertime this Monday. It's coming up Monday, so I'm not gonna be too much, but I am about to clean up my kitchen because my kitchen gonna always be clean every day. That always get messed up. I got some 2% milk for my macaroni. I got cranberry juice so I can have something to drink today. I picked up, the, the reason why I went to freaking Target is to get this Roku um, streaming stick in 4K because I think I told y'all in the car, I think I did. My Fire TV or my Fire Stick literally just stopped working. I've had that for probably like five or six years though. So I like Roku better anyway than Fire Stick. So I decided to go ahead and just get this. Um, this one was like $34. So it is higher than the other real cool that they got but i wanted the little stick that you just stick in so anyways this is the whole reason i went to target and left out get everything else oh. i bought these to make my car smell good and i literally just went back downstairs to get my camera because i left it and forgot to keep this in the car i don't feel like going back down there but i really need this to sit overnight so it can smell somewhat decent so i'm probably going to go back down there and take out some trash after i get done cleaning and then i'm gonna put this in my car but I decided to get the gain. I feel like that'll <clears throat> smell pretty good. And then I also got this book by Colleen Hoover. Um, a lot of y'all recommended me to read this after I got done reading. It ends with us, it starts with us. And I got Ugly Love by her. And y'all recommended this from like Instagram and stuff to read this one. Um, I kind of looked at what it's kind of about. And I think I like it. So I got this, it was only like $10. Y'all know I love to read, so if you wanna Leave some books down below you can. Um, I like drama, young adulthood, some kind of like love stories. I like wild, twisted type of um, books. Like nothing like, <laughs> when I say wild and twisted, I mean something like with a good ass plot that have you like, what? You know, so I like books like that. Um, just like I like crime shows, I like crime books mystery um i do want to get more into like motivational type of books and things like that so if you have something down below but I, I like colleen hoover i see a lot of people like talking bad about her and stuff like that in her books i mean you know if you don't like it then you don't like it but i don't know i mean i like them so i got that other few things i got from target is these pizzas so i can eat me something tomorrow really quick i got some bacon because i bought some for breakfast in the morning, cause I don't have any groceries. We gotta do a restock uh, Sunday. I got some collard greens. I forgot Target actually sold these. They're already like chopped up and stuff for you. I'm gonna go and like take the stems out. But I got some collard greens. Um, and the last time I made them, I made it with bacon because I didn't have any like smoked ham or like a smoked turkey leg and Target didn't have it. So I'm just gonna cook it again with bacon. It's fine. It was good to me. And then I also got the Good and Gather ribeye steak. It was 11.31. I had one of these before and it was actually really good. So 21 grams of protein, about 280 calories. And yeah, got me a steak. And then while we were in Texas, me and they went to Home Goods to kind of scope out what they got. And that Home Goods was like really, really nice. I think I recorded a few clips, but it was super nice. And I got this Method um, hand wash because I needed some more for my bathroom. And it kind of gives off like a slight masculine scent, but I got it because the bottle was cute and I feel like it'll match my decor. But also I like masculine scents. Like I'm really feeling it. So it's, it's kind of like, I feel like it's a unisex type of scent, if you will. Like not too masculine, but definitely something that a woman could still enjoy. Um, it's called Citrus Grove. So yeah, I like it. Other thing I got is a candle. This one is for sure giving masculine, but like I said, I like masculine scents, especially like um, how scents it smells really nice. And men, men cologne, uh, 
any type of candles anything like very masculine always lasts a lot longer than something more feminine so this is 12.99 it smells amazing i literally tell him it reminds me of him and his cologne like it either smells like the bad boy cologne or another cologne that i bought him i cannot think of the name but it kind of gives that sense so it's called plastic tux it's red grapefruit with soft fruits and sage with smooth saffron lavender warm cedar is that how you pronounce it and some p word and it's hand poured i don't know what that word is but girl it smells so good like mm. It smells just like something like he would wear. So yeah, I got it because I like it. I'm gonna put it in my um my guest room or my guest bathroom and kind of just let it kind of air out everywhere. So yeah, that's my little haul. That's all I got from Target and then Home Goods. I'm about to clean up and get my house straightened up because like I said, I just got back from this trip. And let me do y'all a little overview real quick. So my suitcase right here this is a collab that i just got this is a mattress so y'all gonna be seeing that next week we're gonna be doing some home decor stuff i just need to clean my kitchen so that i can be able to cook and then cooking is definitely i'm not probably gonna be eating until like nine o'clock so that's why i bought this i was about to make this real quick um but i don't know we'll see but yeah i'm about to take out some trash put this in my car so it can air out overnight smell good and just straight up my home not too much but just enough to where like you know i feel good and it's livable because like i said we are going to do a full clean with me video on actual monday and today is friday and i work tomorrow saturday so yeah and i need to edit this vlog as well that y'all watching when i get done cleaning i'm gonna sit down and do a life update as well um i basically went ghost for like three weeks on y'all <laughs> and the bulk of it is me i was like working a lot but there is some other stuff that like i want to touch on so i'm gonna sit down and do like a little life update and that'll probably be like the end of this vlog i'll probably just title this like a weekend with me and not really like a living alone weekly vlog because i don't really do too much in this one it's just me you know just kind of popping in and out this i wanted to show y'all that i got this from Kohl's as well um it was on sale for 14.99 i thought i was going to be able to use my 20 percent off coupon when you return something to Kohl's clothing store they'll give you um a coupon to use i've gotten 10 15 20 25 just depends on how many items you return so i returned three items so i think that's why i was able to get 20 percent. i think normally it's like 15 maybe but yeah it was also $14.99, regular $49.99, 70% off. Clothes be taxing for no reason, but I thought this would be cute. Um, my car, I have a, I got my car in 2021, but I have a 2022 Kia K5. And when I initially got it in 2021, I had to wait three weeks to get my car because since I, I wanted like the red seats, the GT line, all of that, it had to be like custom order. Um, and then he was like, do you want basically um like the snow option on there so like four wheel drive basically and mine doesn't come with four wheel drive which i wish i would have gotten it but i would have had to wait like even longer like dang there like two months dang there for me to get that car with four wheel drive so i'm like if that i want my car now like i already had to wait three weeks that felt like forever knowing that i went and signed for a car and i literally didn't walk off the lot that same day with the car but like i didn't already pay for it, it was insane so I decided to give this a try. It's heat and massage cushion. It just plugs into your um, like cigarette lighter thing. And I believe I still have a cigarette lighter. So um, yeah, it's supposed to massage and be heated. Obviously now since it's about to be summertime, I don't really need like heated seats. But sometimes like after it pours down raining like it's been doing today, it'll get cold outside. And y'all know I get off work early in the morning. So sometimes it'd be, you know, a little breezy. So I want it some heated seats and i wanted this because it'll massage you and i don't know about y'all but i know i don't really be driving many places but girl my back be hurting like if you remember i got a neck pillow in my car right now like i got a lot of stuff to try to 
you know, make driving a little bit easier. So obviously I can't try this out right now until I get downstairs, but I just wanted to take it out the box at least before I get down there because I don't want to take this big old box. I'm going to keep the box just in case, you know, it don't work or something, so I'll be able to take it back. Oh, I think I threw away my receipt. Yeah, definitely hard to with my receipt. So hopefully it works. Um, it seems self-explanatory. Just clip it on like a little seat, basically like a little seat cushion. And obviously, so yeah, um, I like it because it's black. Obviously, y'all know my interior is red, but I feel like this would be cool because everything else that i got in my car is like black like all of my car accessories are black so i feel like it'll fit right in um can't wait to try this out though i don't really feel where the massage thingies are though like i thought it would be okay they seem tiny so yeah we'll try this out tomorrow i forgot to take this down there um so it has the heat and then the massage and then you can do low or high it looks real cool i hope it works really well that's how it looks and it looks like real good quality so i'm gonna try this out tell y'all about it and if i like it then i'll try to link it down below link something like that down below mm, those greens smell so good already working that's my packing bag So mine from my bedroom, I can't speak through it, so I like that I can talk through this one. Oh, I'm so excited! Okay, now that I have it set up, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in the little bitty box back here. life update if you will i just got done watching um Aaliyah's face little like life update um, i'm glad she's moving to new york i believe she's gonna prosper there and sorry if y'all hear something it's the rain girl it is pouring down it's been storming so bad it's been hailing thundering lightning um when we was on our way to dallas we was in a tornado warning or watch it, it was just it's been a lot so um my update isn't obviously nothing like hers like i'm not moving <laughs> to new york or anything but um i just want to touch on i've been m.i.a i've been m.i.a for like dang near about three weeks dang near on each platform definitely youtube um instagram i kind of wasn't posting much i haven't even really been on instagram tiktok i definitely still don't really get on there which i need to because i do need to be more consistent but first off i just wanted to say i've been in my a basically because i've been working a lot in my actual like hospital job um if you guys don't know i do work 12 hour night shifts so if you ever worked in a hospital or ever worked night shift 12 hours anything anywhere like not even have to be the hospital then you know how tiring that can be i've been and working 12 hour night shifts um four to five days a week um i did five and a half one week so i do have a lot of trips coming up like i have i'm going to california i'm going on a cruise this year and for my birthday i decided to go to chicago um for right now <laughs> but that's like what we got going right now and my la trip is coming up very very soon so um whenever people have a trip usually when we work at the hospital we just pick up a lot of days you know so therefore we can have a lot of money to spend and basically i've been slacking on youtube um 
just for me just being tired like there's not a big reason uh oh my lights flicker on and off and i'm cooking it's not a big reason let me just turn this light off because i don't know what's going on i don't know if this all my lights are just that way um so yeah i've been tired and since i've been working four and five days a week that's dang there all week and when i come home i take prints out cook my breakfast talk to my man and i'm asleep by like eight o'clock in the morning i don't wake up until 5 30 that same day just enough time for me to brush my teeth take prints out eat and go back to work so me just working sleeping working sleeping has took a toll on me not gonna lie um it hasn't been too bad it's just like the patience and stuff i had bad nights but it is not too bad to where how it used to be girl i don't know what's going on this storm got my printer turning on by itself and everything it's lord jesus <laughs> lord please don't like stay on hungry um so yeah what was i saying um I just eat, sleep, and go back to work. And I'm not even really eating. Um, I think I mentioned that I've lost 20 pounds. And that's kind of over the period of this whole year. But with me working constantly and not being able to eat, like I've been meal prepping and stuff. But I mean, if I'm sleeping all day, how am I going to eat? I'm literally sleep from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And then I go to work, do my vitals, get report, all of that. And I'm not eating again until like dang near 10 o'clock so i'm not getting enough calories enough protein none of that so that has also made me feel not really depressed but like kind of in my feelings it's like day like i didn't work so hard i didn't got to 153 pounds and now i'm down to like 136 girl or 138 so that had me pissed <laughs> and like you know i don't fake the funk if i'm not feeling good or feeling like vlogging or anything like that i'm not gonna vlog like that's just that like i'm a real person i have bad days just like i got bad days and i get in my moods and i don't pick up the camera as well as yeah i can record me going to work and stuff but i've already kind of got like two or three videos like that and like i said like i'm just tired i'm not doing anything so it's nothing for me to vlog but me going to sleep and you know going to work so that's kind of most of the reason why i've been mia as well as i've been kind of on the verge of before i say it <laughs> moving not necessarily because i don't like this apartment but my rent is going up and that's fine but when i signed my lease i signed for 1291 dollars print fee like this has been different stuff going on to where now my rent is going to be raised up until 1500 and like 81 dollars or so right now i am paying like 1425 so it's only it's not going up that much but that's the thing i don't care that it's i care that it's going up but i don't care to pay the price it's just it's like really bad if i'm paying that i want to get my money's worth you know so that was kind of the reason why i left my last apartment because basically the rent I was paying there was the rent that I was getting here for a two bedroom and I moved from a one bedroom. So this one apartment I was looking at is only one apartment that I would go to. Um, they had one available, but they were asking 1700 for that one. I'm like, no, I'm gonna pay 1548. So the one I've been looking at is cheaper than this one, like what my apartment is gonna go up to. It comes with a fireplace, ring doorbell system, washer and dryer already included, um, a lot more kitchen space. Like it just comes with more for my money, if that makes sense. So basically, I'm paying for the apartment amenities in the clubhouse right now, whereas the other apartment that I was looking at, I will be paying that 15, you know, 1550 for my inside apartment amenities, if that makes sense. Like right now, the only amenity that I have is an alarm system. You know, like that's the only thing that like come with the apartment. Whereas the other apartment, I got a fireplace, ring doorbell system, keyless entry. I'll have two balconies there. Like it's, it's really lit over there. <laughs> but obviously, you know, they don't really have anything coming available because who will move from that, you know? So I kind of been tossing that up and down when they gave me my renewal paper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and renew, but that's kind of what I've been thinking about as well. Um, just kind of trying to figure out what I want to do with that and it's like do i really want to you know move because obviously i put a wallpaper in on three walls y'all know i didn't put a wallpaper baby i don't plan on moving at all so just thinking about having to take all this down you know it, it's just a lot so i have been ordering some stuff on amazon um to kind of rejills up my home and make it really how i want it so we are going to have a lot of home content coming in the next couple weeks but that's kind of why i haven't been recording either because i'm like I don't really like I don't want to record in this apartment anymore you know if I'm not gonna 
you know stay here and do different things you know like just home content i don't want to record if i'm going to be moving out in like a month and a half you know so that's why i haven't been recording either and picking up the phone as well as um the last one i want to mention is me just being drained <laughs> from work and just not feeling like getting on camera you know like I don't feel like it and me getting on instagram tiktok youtube any type of social platform and kind of just seeing like I, how i was talking about in my one of my other vlogs i don't know kind of how this girl and you know like got all of these followers in like such amount of time da, 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 like a short amount of time and stuff and started maybe like a year year and a half ago and it's just like when i get on stuff when i get on social media and see that I am definitely proud for them and like it just motivates me more but also there's a part of me when I'm already kind of in a funk it had me feeling like dang like you know I'm just doing this not really doing it for nothing but like you know like where's my progress basically like don't get me wrong I'm so thankful for 32,000 subscribers when I'm just YouTube is a hobby still for me like I'm not a full-time content creator I'm not none of that this is just a side hobby that I like to do and fell in love with and get paid for it basically so it's just like if i apply myself more then i would see a better outcome you know and it's like seeing these girlies they're posting you know every day like short form content vlog you know like they're they're consistent and i know when i am consistent that's when i always see the most growth in my channel all kind of social media so that's kind of why i've been kind of drawn back from vlogging as well because it's like sometimes you put it's funny because i feel like if you're creative you kind of know what i'm saying like the vlogs or videos that you put the most work into don't really do as good sometimes like i feel like when i'm really putting my all into like some form of content that's the one that kind of not really flop but flop and then it's the vlogs that you don't really even you know care about that just be going crazy all the time so i've just been trying to find balance between work and youtube and really just trying to not rebrand but rebrand if that makes sense like really really get back connected with youtube because i got to the point to where i kind of felt like i was just rushing to get like a vlog out and i don't want to feel like that um as well as when companies don't approve videos like i just posted that vlog talking about getting a new couch and I already got a new couch like i was supposed to post that a month ago and stuff like that just give me the mood and i don't want to you know just keep vlogging when i need to post this video like basically the vlog that was supposed to be posted a month ago if i put out four or five more vlogs and i post this one it's like girl like what are you even talking about so that's why i've been posting either because i want all my vlogs to be in order my battery is about to die so let me change it out real quick girl it's storming real bad like i don't know if y'all can hear that thunder but it's bad severe thunderstorm warning for your location strong wind possible hail heavy rain moving into central arkansas mm. Anyways, like I was saying, I um, kind of forgot what I was saying, but basically just just in my own head and feeling my own defeat, like basically the devil trying to get over on me. <laughs> We're not going to let that happen, okay? So, yeah, I've just, I've just been drained, tired, working, chilling, relaxing um, in my own head about things. So, literally on the way to Dallas, I was editing different like TikToks and stuff. So, Hopefully in June, I will be able to have all of my TikToks and things edited. And I would like to, when I say TikTok, I mean like Instagram Reels, stuff like that, short form content. Uh, hopefully by June, I will be able to post like two to three times a week. That's, I feel like something is better than nothing to like really build up my platform elsewhere than YouTube. Because also, I feel real comfortable on YouTube rather than like instagram and tiktok i feel more comfortable on tiktok than instagram for sure because instagram just feel like everybody's just watching you and you know judgy and you know like people that you i don't know went to school you know it's it's just i don't know the vibes are a little bit weird on instagram tiktok girl i don't think i really know anybody on there like I can probably name a good 10 people that like I personally know that follow me on uh, TikTok that I know of. But other than that, girl, I'm just, I just be free to post everything I want. And TikTok, I've been doing really good. Like I got 72K on a video. I got like I got some views on TikTok. It's just I need to stay consistent. So I got 3,997. Um, I did have like only 3,000. So I dang near gained almost 1,000 um, followers in no time so yeah if you want to find my tiktok is just at akira janae um i do plan on posting like actual more content over there like 
a lot more content and i need to just get out of my head and just post because literally the content that i like and that i save on tiktok or like just in my favorites on instagram like my collapse and stuff like that well collections it's literally the videos that I got saved in my phone. I literally record everything. I just don't post it. And it's like, Akira, you got to get out of this. So I just be in my head a lot, y'all. Um, sorry, I definitely missed y'all. I know y'all miss me. It's just, it's just a lot been going on mentally. Like, you know, nothing bad. It's just, you know, I just be in my head about things. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. So I'm trying to get back right. Um, tomorrow's Saturday, but Sunday I do plan on doing like grocery stock i'm gonna definitely stick to just buying groceries for each week i've been saying that but i've still kind of been over buying so my weekly budget like don't get me wrong like pantry items being stocked up i'm definitely gonna keep that but just regular like meats and bread you know stuff like that i'm definitely need to like figure out what i'm eating each single day and get back on that because by the time i go to cali next month baby i better than gain a good 10 15 more pounds okay and i know that's possible so next week we're gonna start back well i started back going to the gym this week but next we're really gonna be in there like three or four times so yeah just get i just need to get back to my routine that's all um and then like i said like i'm more comfortable on youtube for sure but like taking this type of content that i do and throwing it in on instagram and tiktok it just frightens me really bad so that's kind of also why like i just haven't been posting anything because it's like i just want to post everything so i'm about i'm about to get out of that um but yeah, that's all. That, that was just a little mini update. Just just trying to figure out life as well as, I know I'm everywhere, but um, school. So I'm like kind of piggybacking off of when I'm like, people are just like hitting like 100K. Like that's like TikTok, Instagram, all of that. And it's like, I can't be feeling some type of way because I'm not posting my content. And it's like, I could be just i can honestly be a full-time youtuber you know like my collabs and all of that like i i be making enough money it's just i'm not consistent and with the hospital job and stuff like an actual clock in job like i know that money is coming you know like you you can always depend on that being an entrepreneur content all of that money's not guaranteed you know and that's why i want to be at a point to where i can financially just be like okay like i'm done working for the hospital like you know just just sit so with school i was gonna go well i've been looking at i don't want to be a nurse no more like i went to nursing school all of that i don't want to do it but i've been looking at doing a sleep tech or radiology radiology is two years sleep tech is one year what what made me really be like i think this is for me is when i was on a tiktok and some random girl in the comments was like oh i went to so and so and so and so and got my you know like certification whatever and this and took my board exam now i'm a sleep tech making over 100k huh <laughs> so yeah i think that's definitely something that i would like to do i still want to be direct patient care like i love helping patients but physically and mentally the way i'm feeling now as a tech I could never do that as a nurse and a lot of nurses they be like yeah don't do this don't do this but it's like maybe y'all still doing this so like something must be good about it you know but even then I've seen like that article where that nurse committed suicide because like mentally it's draining and I feel like as a tech it's easy for me to just be like oh let me go get your nurse let me go get your nurse because you know most things like I can't answer I can't really tell them or you know do for them because I'm not the nurse like I can't give you meds or nothing like I can draw your blood and do this and that but i cannot you know i'm not licensed to pass you anything so i don't want to have that much responsibility but i still want to make an impact on someone's life so being a sleep tech you know i'm still helping and i will be able to you know work overnight like i just feel like that's something i would like to do and here in arkansas right now um i've been looking at different jobs and stuff and it's around like seventy thousand dollars right now so basically the same amount that i could be making as like a lpn what i was going to school for but doing less work, you know, or RN. So that's what I've been looking into doing. Um, that kind of got me in my fields as well. Cause it's kind of like, I'm 25, I'm young, but still it's kind of like, you know, what are you doing? Like, yeah, I got my own business selling here and stuff like that, but I'm not disciplined enough and I don't have enough consistency to just solely rely on that right now, you know? And me on Instagram seeing, you know, all the girlies like selling digital products, selling here, doing, you know, just, anything entrepreneurship and they're making 10k a day 10k a month 20k a month and it's like damn like excuse my language i'm you know i'm trying to stop cussing but like for real like 
what am I doing wrong? And it's like, I'm not necessarily doing anything wrong. We are all doing the same thing. It's just, I'm not consistent. I don't put myself out there enough for like Instagram and TikTok per se. Um, like I still, you know, I've been getting sales and stuff like that, but I'm not making $20,000 in a day. <laughs> like, you know, like I'm not there yet. And it's like, if I actually wake up, clock in and do the work and treat this like a nine to five or like my 12 hour shift, I know I will see success in it. So that's why I've been trying to plan for a huge like revamp and restock in June. But honestly, I don't feel like I'm going to be able to do that because I mean, everything's just hitting me all at once right now. So um, I, I'm still going to restock, but it's not going to be as big as I want it to. So basically right now, um, I'm with Chase Bank. I'm pretty sure other banks do this, but with Chase, you can, every time you get a deposit, you can put a percentage or an amount of money in your savings account. So I started that back up and I'm just, you know, just trying to save and build better habits financially and things like that because everybody was like, oh, you need to get a house, you need to get a house. And I'm like, I would get a house, but baby, I can't get no house in two months. You know, like I'm not going to be able to find the house that I want by the time I got to renew my lease in July, you know, so basically just just trying to get back on track and have enough you know savings for like six months of expenses three to six months of expenses a house if i want to just you know be like oh let me go get a house you know just just getting back on things and getting things back on track like i've had my three weeks of moping around and doing all of that and like now it's time to get back serious secure so after tonight after i eat and stuff like that i do go to work tomorrow i'm going to be editing this vlog you're watching now to post on sunday but um, yeah, while I'm at work, if I can, if I can get done editing tomorrow before I go to work, that'd be wonderful. So when I do go to work, I can just plan out my day for next week, like all of my days. And to really just get on a schedule. So I feel like, I know I'm talking a lot, but bear with me. But I feel like what I need to start doing is writing out a to-do list for every day, which I have a to-do list and I kind of do that, but I don't follow it. Because when I'm thinking, my brain just goes every which way and i spend so much time sitting here thinking about what i want to do or need to do or like content that i want to record and all of that i'm spending so much time thinking and imagining it without actually making it tangible basically like without actually doing it so i need to write all of my thoughts out on paper which i did start i wrote 20 youtube video ideas 20 tiktok you know all of that and what i'm going to start doing next week is mapping out the day that i want to record those videos so um trying to get back on my consistent streak like i've been doing we're gonna be back and i really really want to enjoy editing and making content like i still enjoy it but like you know like, like i said i just feel like i was kind of rushing to be able to make a living alone weekly vlog up for sunday and i just feel like i don't know like i've been recording but i've been trashing content like i was watching i think kyra um she was talking about how she literally was recording like whatever she recorded she would just trash it because she didn't like the content which y'all you know y'all like the content but i don't know to us we're our biggest critics so when i'm you know trying to edit something i don't know it's, it's just gonna be matching the vibe so yeah but i'm always recording it's just i just don't upload so i'm sorry but i'm about to stop talking i feel like i've been talking a while um i'm starving i need to put my steak on the stove and yeah, my greens is up, my macaroni done, the steak ain't gonna take that long. I got a ribeye, so the ribeye gonna take like, depending on, you know, like maybe five, 10 minutes. I want it well done, but not well done. Like I still like a little bit of pink, so. Yeah, if I don't pick up the camera again, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for coming to my TED Talk. I know I've been talking a lot, but I just have to get a few things off my chest because girl, it's just been bottled up. And especially because I don't really have content creator friends or like YouTubers, anything like entrepreneur friends besides my friend Janae who like do scrubs and stuff. But with the content stuff, that's my niche. Like that's my gist. So like I'm teaching her stuff. So I don't just have someone that I can just, you know, talk to about content. So I just feel like spilling it to y'all. <laughs> y'all understand. But yeah, um, thanks for coming to my TikTok. Um, a curious Audi 5000 official before my lights turn out because they've been flickering and my stove had went off earlier. So I'm going to end it here for now. Um, I may show y'all my food, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, next week is going to be the start of like some more home decor stuff. You know, really getting back into my, into my Akira Janae groove. So yeah, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe for the third time. And I'll see you ladies in my next video. Bye guys.